everybody welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be talking about the Madoka Magica Kyoko doll. We're going to do a head to toe review to see if she's right for you. Let's get started. So here we have Kyoko. She's from Madoka Magica and we're going to go from head to toe to see uh, what she's all about and find out if she's the right doll for you. So first we're going to start off with the wig here. Uh, the wig here is nice. It is nice and it is very soft. Uh, it's a little stiff towards the top here. Uh, obviously there's kind of like a, a knot almost back there to kind of give that, that heightened ponytail look for her. Her bangs are really, really stiff and that's so that you can get uh, that effect again that she has in the anime. Now, uh, the face is, again, very typical of the Madoka dolls that we've seen before. It's got that uh, anime look to it. It does not have the eyes like the Dolphy Dream eyes do. So if that's something that you don't like, be aware of that. But they did a very nice job painting that on there. Uh, her clothing is very nicely done. It is nice, soft fabric. It is well made. So I definitely would give kudos to that because this looks like it would have been a beast to kind of do. Um, her soul gem is right there. It does have a little bit of a sticky back for you to kind of pop it on there. Uh, be aware, these do stain the vinyl. So... If that's a big problem, you might want to use like a, a putty on the back of that to get that on. Um, otherwise, you may want to coat it something to prevent the staining. Otherwise, Volks does have a really nice uh, stain guard that you can use. You, you rub that on. There's a whole big process to do it, but you can use that. Uh, she is vinyl, but she's that hard vinyl again. She's not super soft like you would see in Dolphy Dreams. So you might want to be aware of that. Uh, she does have her boots and everything. They are hard plastic. The nice thing about her is unlike the mommy doll, you do stick her feet in there. You don't have to take her feet off. You can if you want to, I suppose, but you don't have to, as opposed with the mommy doll where you do, you have no choice. She is nicely done. She is a little bit bigger than a DDS. She is smaller than a DD, so you want to keep that in mind. The clothing for her is very specific uh, because of her proportions and everything. So if you want new clothing for her, you are going to have to find some specifically from Azone for these one-third size dolls. She is a real joy to have. I do like her. The only complaint I have is... Her boots here, they have this th like synthetic, um, almost like leather. You got to just kind of tuck them in to the boot. And you can see sometimes they, they come undone and they are starting to fall apart. Now, I don't, you know, play with her. I do photo shoots every now and again. But even with her just being in the case untouched, they are still starting to have that wear like they are deteriorating. So if that's a big issue for you, you might want to find something that is a good compromise. You can always take these and um, make a pattern yourself from them. They're pretty simplistic, and that way you have something else to put in there uh, when these obviously decay because they, they do feel like they would. Other than that, uh, would I buy her again? Absolutely. Uh, Cost-wise, well, she was about... $450, give or take, depending on where you bought her from. Um, I would say higher range, about $600. you will see her anywhere between $600 and $800. On the higher end, over $1,000. Personally, I wouldn't pay more than $800 for these dolls, being that they are older now. Some of their outfits are going to either yellow, deteriorate. They are going to have staining um, issues, you know, with obviously with the darker, you know, items, the wigs and the, you know, the stockings. Thankfully, I have been very careful with her, uh, to make sure that she doesn't have that staining. But if, you know, you have somebody that you're buying secondhand from, you may want to keep that in mind to, to kind of double check if nothing else. 
Other than that, wonderful doll. Highly would recommend. She's a joy to have and a wonderful part of the Madoka collection. And uh, hopefully this review has answered any questions that you may have had, as well as if this doll is right for you. I hope you have a great day, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. Stay safe out there. And as always, be good to each other. I'll see you again next week. Bye.